Recently, I needed to make some gifts for some friends. The only thing is that right now, my wife and I are super busy with end of the year Zillow photography stuff. The other day, we were out of town on some Zillow photography business, and it just so happened that there was a Rockler store a few minutes up the road. While I was browsing around, one thing that caught my eye was Rockler's cutting board kit. The kits come in different sizes and they have different species of wood in there. They've got it all jointed and planed and it's ready to assemble and all I got to do is slap some glue on it and clamp it together and finish it out. And that's a huge time saver and I decided that these were going to be my gifts. Instead of assembling the cutting boards so they look just like the pictures, I wanted to mix them up a bit so they'd be a little bit more unique. So I bought a few kits to mix and match and come up with my own design. Let's get started. Now that I got the cutting boards cut to the size and the shape that I want, and I've smoothed over the edges here with a roundover bit, I want to put some little handle holes on the side so that it's easy to pick up uh, when somebody's using it. I've made some stop blocks, and what I can do is put the cutting board in and slide it back and forth, and that's going to give me the notch that I need. I did a test on a piece of scrap wood to see how it would come out, and I really like the results. So now, all that's left is to put it onto the actual cutting board. Now at this point I could just start sanding, going from the rougher grits to the finer grits and then just apply the mineral oil and be done with it. But I want to add a bit of a personal touch and to do that I'm going to use recycled skateboards. So this might not look like much, but it's actually several layers of an old skateboard that I've glued together to form one small panel. Now if you jump out to Instagram and search a hashtag recycled skateboards, you're going to find a lot of cool stuff. But for my purpose, what I want to do is make just a few small discs out of the recycled skateboard. And to do that, I'm going to use a half inch plug cutter. Basically what I want to do is inlay each of the recycled skateboard discs into the bottom corner of each of the cutting boards. Now to do that I'm going to use a half inch Forstner bit to make the hole and then I'll inlay the disc and we'll see how it goes. After a little finessing, I was able to get the plugs to fit in the holes, and it left a little bit of material sticking above the cutting board surface. But I just used my flush cut saw to trim that off. Now I'm going to mark out some spots where the rubber feet will go on the bottom, and then we can finally start sanding.
quick thanks to Brad Rodriguez over at Fix This, Build That. He shared this tip about wetting your cutting board in the middle of your sanding process. Also check out his website, he's got a lot of great information, builds, plans, all kinds of good stuff at his website. Thanks Brad. Now that the boards are oiled up, it's time to brand them with my logo. And I'm gonna use a mini branding iron that I got on Etsy. If you follow my Instagram page, you probably saw a video where I was testing out the mini branding iron over at the drill press in my jerry rig setup that I made. If I get a chance, I'm gonna make a separate video on my YouTube channel that goes into more detail about how I'm using that mini branding iron and how I was able to get it to work on the drill press. But anyways, I was happy with the results that I got in my test and confident enough to put them on the cutting boards. So hopefully I can get it right and I don't screw anything up. Now the final step is just to screw on the little rubber feet and these cutting boards are ready to see some action. So that's it for this batch of cutting boards. I'm really happy with how they came out and I had a lot of fun making them and I hope you guys enjoyed watching the process and seeing how they all came together. If you liked the video, click on the little thumbs up icon and if there's anything you particularly liked or didn't like or you have suggestions on how I can improve on future videos, leave a comment below and I'll check them out. I've got all the appropriate links in the description below and if you're not already a subscriber, I'd love to have you. So subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you can check out my website and my blog, and you can stay up to date when I post new photos and pictures of projects I'm working on. So until next time, see you later.